What's up everyone, Wavy. Welcome to my new world review. This is just a early game review, like to mid-game, I think. And this is nothing of that end game stuff you see on other channels. I'm just chilling out. I have like 100 hours of playtime. And yeah, I just reached level 44. I had fun. And let's talk about it. So first of all, when we started out, I just was overhyped about this game. So I played it like three days straight. And yeah, that was nice. I came in completely blind. I haven't watched any video about this game. I, I watched nothing. I, I'm not even into guides and these types of games. Like, they destroyed my other MMO experiences because I didn't figure out stuff by myself. And that was annoying. The only thing I used was using a, a website map to just for mining purposes, for mining routes and stuff like that. But yeah, the early game is nice till you notice that the enemies are just repeating themselves. The quests are repetitive, they are boring, but when you walk through this world, it feels astonishing, man. Feels nice. It's just such a chill game after you played too much League of Legends, after you played too much Rocket League, after you played that competitive game, which broke you mentally, and now you need to chill out in your world. You can always, you can also play this game competitively. You can also go into PvP and stuff like that. I war, war was in like two battles, two wars, uh, which were also the city just farming PvP quests with a massive horde. That was exciting, man. Yeah. But now, the bad part I just talked about earlier, the, the quests, they are still the same ones over and over again. They won't get better. There are only like a few upsides on in the main quest like sometimes that random dude just talks there's always acting in this game <laughs> and yeah but most of the time it's just a sandbox multiplayer experience it kind of feels like foxhole but i want more of that player mechanic in this game that players can build stuff players can do much more of this world but maybe they're gonna do something about that in the future updates so, we saw my attributes, I'm just going for that tanky style, I still forgot my my gems, my weapons, because you need like these threat gems to generate threat as a tank, and that's what I forgot in one dungeon, and I got flat for that a bit, but yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> I had fun dying like 20 times, so that was, it was in, in the deaths, yeah, the depths. Yeah, I checked out the sword and shield, checked out a few different weapons. I'm not into that mage weapon stuff. I really like the musket at the beginning, but then changed to Warhammer after that I changed to Hatchet because, yeah, that was good for leveling. But the main thing is the sword and shield. That's like my playstyle. I just want to use that sword and shield, tank a bunch of stuff. And I'm hyped for the great sword, which will come out, but not in the next update. They teased like this void gauntlet and stuff like that. But yeah. These weapons are all well balanced. Except for the Great Axe. I think the Great Axe is a bit too strong to be honest. I just see people walking around it and destroying like a bunch of people with that AoE ability. But yeah, that's just my early impression and that has nothing to tell about the reality of that stuff. Yeah. I'm just gonna say Sword and Shield is fun. If you don't know what to use, just use the Sword and Shield. <laughs> yeah. Other Hatchet. That's a good weapon as well. And yeah. The character design at the beginning looked like complete garbage. My character was looking garbage and it still does. But I recently got some new equipment which looked a bit better. Yeah. The few effects on it are nice. But yeah, what I don't like about it is that you can't take your old gear and use it as a cosmetic. If you want to use some cosmetic stuff, you need to buy it or to have it already, like this Twitch shop stuff, this golden rage grease. And the rest is just uh, buy, must buy stuff, yeah. I also experienced a few dungeons, which were quite nice. Damn, I can't say nothing against it, except that most of the enemies are repetitive, gets boring in the early level parts, because 
you are hanging out there like most of the time in, in the beginning. Like 50 hours of it are just slaying zombies and skeletons and that's not pretty original. But sometimes you see different enemies like dryads, alligators and stuff like that. Or the corrupted. I, I really like clearing uh, the portals. They are currently the most exciting thing about this game. I I really like clearing those and I don't know why they are just relying so much on the undead, uh, on the standard undead units. In this area, I'm currently in Brightwood and in this area southeast of Brightwood, uh, there's this dryad area. And then you never see dryads again. I, will, I was thinking, damn, why are you just using zombie soldiers area? I know it's kind of for the law or something like that, but all I know about the law is that this continent is called Eternal or this world. And yeah, and that this area is like Asian themed. And there's a dynasty dungeon. Because it's all, uh, always spammed in chat. And yeah. This game looks promising. I hope they will improve this. I hope they will still stick to it and frequently update it. If they don't frequently update New World, I won't see a future for it. If they just do a few patches here and there and then stop it then this game will obviously die like every MMO does I think change or updates polishes are important for an MMO to grow the hype at the beginning was pretty insane because of the queue timestamp it was so high like 500,000 players on Steam alone damn that's, that's insane and yeah, I can recommend it. This is the first time since World of Warcraft I had actually fun with an MMORPG. After that I tried so many like Asta, Final Fantasy, I'm not really a big fan of Final Fantasy, sorry if you, if you like that game, but I'm not into that stuff. Too many furry now. <laughs> and Perfect World, uh, EverQuest. Two, that bad. All these animals. Swatter. What's it called? And yeah. Now I'm here and actually enjoying an MMORPG again. That, that feels great, man. I'm not disappointed in Amazon. I see many mistakes. I saw many dumb things. And yeah, that's something they can still improve on. They're not really experienced in that stuff, even though they have like an infinite amount of money. There's still something which you can't get with just pure money. And that's the experience you get from the entire time of these MMOs. This, is, this feels like there are few people, or many people, who want, which want to make a nice MMO, but where hey, you don't have pre MMORPG experience. And yeah, this is what they end up with. It's a new and unique feeling. I don't see this game as a copy paste MMORPG. I like the action combat. You need to actually hit something with an arrow. You can dodge like uh, a bit of Dark Souls, you can say. It's not uh, as hard as Dark Souls, I think, but yeah. It feels nice. What can I say? I just can't say that I have fun with it. So, thanks for watching. I I hope you liked it. And this is just a casual review. This is nothing insane where I cut all the time. I'm just doing this for fun. And see you next time. Wafer out.